Hello, it's Professor T. Triadus Samaris, and I'm here on Tuesday, another gloomy day, I must say, so a great day to listen to a story. Today's story, if you can read, you will see Jumbo means hello. Before I open it, I want to show you a 3D art object. Remember we were making 3D spiders after a Nancy the Spider? Well, this is a snake that my son made in homeschool. My sons, Liam and Leo, who are now 32 years old and 29 years old, they both were homeschooled here in this house, which is why I have so many books. They were homeschooled all through K through 12. Well, Liam left school in the second grade and Leo left school in kindergarten. But they did go to college and they are now working. But that is why I'm very full of books and ideas. I loved homeschooling, but it took us a while to get used to it. Okay, Jumbo means hello, Swahili alphabet book. Swahili is a language that comes from Africa. Swahili. Who is the author? It's by Muriel Feelings and the pictures are by Tom Feelings. Don't you wonder if they're related? By the way, I missed showing you, remember the seal? We've seen that before. That's a Caldecott honor for amazing picture book. Okay, A. <clears throat> a Rusi is a wedding. When two ordinary people marry, it is an important event for their village as well as for their families. It is celebrated with drumming, dancing, and much food for all. I wish I was at a wedding right now, don't you? B for Baba. What do you think Baba means? I bet you can guess father. Parents teach their children the things they will need to know when they are grown. The father teaches his sons to build the home and to make tools. B for Baba. C for Chakula. Just guess in your mind. Chakula, what's that? Food. In villages, the people grow most of their food. Together, many families raise crops like corn, green vegetables, fruits, nuts, and then they divide the harvest. What a great idea. They farm and they share their food. D, dawa, medicine. Africans have always had many nature cures for illnesses. Certain herbs are used to make a tea for reducing fever. Other herbs help cure a stomach ache or a cold. They've taught us a lot about medicine, haven't they? E, embe. What is embe? A mango. This sweet, juicy fruit found along the East African coast is curvy shaped and golden in color. Mangoes in other areas are oval or round with green, red, or gold skin. I need. F. Faggio. What's a faggio? A broom. Made from long straws tied near one another, brooms are used to sweep the floors of the home and the smooth clay grounds around the homestead. Faggio. G. Gudulia. Clay jar. Jars of clay are made by a potter. They're used for keeping water for cooking and washing or for storing grain for the next plantation season. H, Heshima, means respect. Children are taught early to show respect for adults and other children. In many communities, it is the custom for even grown people to kneel when greeting an older person. 
What a great idea. Heshuma. I, Ibada, means worship. Africans worship God in many ways. The Muslim religion is one of the most widespread in Eastern Africa. Che, Jumbo, means hello. The formal way to say it is who Jumbo. With these words, the long courteous greetings begin. Who Jumbo. Karibu means welcome. A caller says Hori, which means may I come in? The reply is always Karibu, whether it is a relative, friend, or stranger. Karibu. L. Lipo is payment. At the marketplace, goods are sold using coins and paper money. In some markets, payment is one item traded for another. Lipo. M, this is easy. Mama means mother. The mother teaches her daughter's homemaking skills like grinding corn, cooking, and making handicrafts. She teaches both daughters and sons to help care for the younger children. Mama. N, Nagoma, is a drum and dance. Nagoma means both drum and dance, as drumming and dancing are commonly done together. Nowadays, a party with modern music and dancing is also a Nagoma. O for Oteo, an ambush. Ooh, most of the big cats of Africa ambush their prey from trees. The lion and cheetah lie low in the tall grass and spring upon a grazing zebra or hartebeest. Oteo, ambush. P, Punda is a donkey. The donkey is an important animal to farmers of some areas. Donkeys transport the harvested crops from the farmlands to the homesteads. P for Punda. R for Rafiki. Rafiki is a friend. Children do more than play with one another. Today, friends do chores like tending cattle or fetching water from the river. S for Schule is a school. Because the climate is warm, many country schools hold classes outdoors. But in the rainy season, the classes must meet inside the school building. Schule. T for Tembo is the elephant. Across the savanna, lands, elephants, herbs move in search of food and water. With other animals of the plains, they gather around a water hole to drink and to bathe. You, Yuzuri, beauty. Beauty means different things in different parts of Africa. In one, it is a woman with a clean shaven head. In another, it is a great crown of braided hair. V for Viombo, utensils. A craftsman makes utensils for the village, carved wooden bowls and ladies Ladles, excuse me, and pitchers made from gourds are useful and decorative objects for the home. Viombo. V. W. Watoto. Children. Watoto. Children play out of doors most of the time. 
Sometimes they form a circle to play a rhythmic game with funny songs, quick steps, and hand clapping. Watoto. Why for Yungi Yungi? Yungi Yungi is a water lily. These huge pink or white flowers are found floating along the edges of lakes and ponds. In some places, the roots are used as food. Z, Zay Zay, is a stringed instrument, a Zay Zay. This musical instrument is the great grandfather of the banjo and the guitar we know today. The xylophone too comes to us from Africa. Zay Zay. The end. So it talks to us a little bit about the art Tom Feelings prepares his art in several stages. He makes his first drawing and then transfers it onto a rough textured board in pencil, then goes over it with a pencil filled with a water-soluble black ink. This looks interesting. I think the next video I do, we are going to look at this art making of Tom Feelings and figure out how we can make art. But maybe you have an idea for me based on this book. Would you please write to me at my Gmail address on the blog? I would love to hear from you. You could also send any pictures of you working at home that you have or artwork that you've made since you've been in homeschool. I look forward to talking to you tomorrow and I really hope the sun comes out, don't you? Cloudy. Bye-bye.